Hi and welcome. This tutorial is being created to help with your understanding of covariance and contravariance when using delegates in C-sharp. In the first part of this tutorial on delegates, I've mentioned that the return type and parameter types of the method referenced by a delegate object must match the return type and parameter types defined in the relevant delegates definition. But I also mentioned that the return type and parameter types of the relevant method definition don't have to match with the relevant return type and parameter types delegate definition exactly. So what does this mean? The c -sharp language allows for the developer to have a little bit of design flexibility when it comes to a delegate's compatibility with a method. Covariance and contravariance provide flexibility when matching a delegate definition with a method definition. Covariance permits a method to have a return type that is more derived than that defined in the relevant delegate. If you are unfamiliar with what is meant for a class to be more derived or less derived than another class that is a member of the same inheritance hierarchy, please check out two tutorials which were provided by this channel as part of a C-Sharp for Beginners course, one on C-Sharp inheritance and the other on C-Sharp polymorphism. A link to these tutorials can be accessed from the cards in the right-hand corner of your screen, and links to these tutorials have also been included below in the description. Contravariance permits a method that has parameter types that are less derived than those in the relevant delegate type. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing and please ring the bell so that you can be notified of content on advanced C-sharp concepts and much more. Let's look at a code example where we can demonstrate how covariance works when using delegates in C-sharp. This example demonstrates how a delegate object can reference a method that has a return type that is derived from the return type defined in the relevant delegates definition. So I'm going to create two factory methods. By factory method, I mean a method implemented for the abstraction of constructing a specific object and returning the relevant object to calling code. The first method will return an object of type ice car, which is a user-defined class that will create representing a blueprint for an object that can store information for an ice car. The second method will return an object of type EV car, which is another user-defined class that will create representing a blueprint for an object that can store information for an electric car. Both of these classes will inherit from a base abstract class named car. We are going to create a delegate that defines a method definition that contains an ID parameter of type int and a name parameter of type string. The delegate type will return the car type, which is the base abstract class from which a class named ice car and a class named EV car will inherit. This delegate type can be used to create an object that can store a reference to a method that returns a type that is derived from the car base type. This is at the heart of what covariance is regarding delegates. Even though the return types of the delegate and the method it references are not an exact match, because the return type of the delegate is the base class for the return type of the method, the c -sharp compiler allows the delegate to reference the method. Let's create a .NET Core console application. I'll name the project and solution covariance and contravariance delegate example. Let's create an abstract class named car. Let's add two auto-implemented properties to the car user-defined class. One named ID of the integer data type and the other named name of the string data type. Let's add a virtual method that doesn't contain any parameters and returns a value of type string. Let's name this method getCarDetails. This method is very basic and returns an interpolated string value containing the values for the ID and the name properties. 
So let's create our first class that inherits from the car abstract class. Let's name this class Ice Car. And we are going to keep this example very basic so that we can focus our attention on the topic of this tutorial, namely applying covariance and contravariance when using delegates in C sharp. So let's override the get car details method. This method will simply return an interpolated string value, which will contain a value returned from its base method counterpart followed by the text, which will contain a hyphen followed by the text internal combustion engine, ICE. And let's create a class that is very similar to the ICE car class. But this class will serve as a blueprint for objects that store information about an electric car. So let's duplicate the ICE car class and change it so that it is appropriate for our EV car class. So this class is named EV car. So the get car details method in the EV car class will return an interpolated string value containing a value returned by its base method counterpart, which will contain the relevant car object's ID and name property values, followed by the string literal hyphen electric. So now let's create a factory class. Let's name it car factory and let's make this class a static class. And let's create a static method named return ice car that returns an object of type ice car. This method contains two parameters, one of type int and the other of type string. And the code for this method simply returns an object derived from the ice car type to the calling code. And let's create another method which is almost identical to the return ice car method. The only difference being that instead of returning an object derived from the ice car type, it returns an object derived from the EV car type. So the question is, can we reference either of these two methods from a delegate object where its delegate definition is an almost exact match of the return ice car method definition and the return EV car method definition? The only difference being that the delegate will define a method definition that returns the car type, i.e. a less derived type. So let's create a delegate named car factory del that defines a method definition that contains two parameters, one of type int and the other of type string and returns a value of type car. So in the main method, let's define a delegate named car factory del and assign it the method name of return ice car. The return ice car method returns an object of type ice car and the delegate definition returns the car type. Notice that the C-sharp compiler is not complaining about this because the ice car type derives from the car type and covariance is allowed in C-sharp. So let's write code to execute the delegate and assign the object to a variable named ice car. So we'll give this car object an ID of 1 and a name of Audi R8. Let's write code to write the type of the object to screen. Let's write code to execute the object's get car details method to retrieve the object's available information and write this information to the screen. And let's use the same delegate type to reference the return EV car method. The EV car type is derived from the car type. So because covariance is permitted in the C sharp language, the return EV car method is deemed as compatible with the car factory del delegate. Let's run the code. And we have successfully demonstrated how covariance can work when using delegates in C sharp. So let's demonstrate how contravariance can work when using delegates in C sharp. So to demonstrate contravariance when using delegates in C sharp, we are going to create two delegates. Both delegates will be used to reference a method used for logging information about a car. 
Both delegate definitions will not return values. The first delegate definition contains one parameter of the ICE car type. The second delegate's definition contains one parameter of the EV car type. The key to relating this example to contravariance is that both of these delegates contain one parameter that inherits from the car type. Note the two delegate definitions contain a parameter that is more derived than the parameter contained in the method that these delegates will reference. The method that both of these delegates will reference will contain one parameter of type car. The method will not return a value. So let's first remove the lines of code not needed in this example demonstrating how contravariance works in c -sharp when using delegates. Let's create the first delegate and we'll name it log ice car details del. Let's create the second delegate and we'll name it log ev car details del. And now let's create the static method that will be referenced by both of these delegates. We'll name this method log car details. And notice how the parameter contained in its method definition is of type car. Note that the delegates that will reference this method will contain parameters that inherit from the car type. So let's implement the code for this method. The logic for this method is that if the type of object passed in as an argument to this method is of type ice car, log the car's object type and information to a text file. We'll use the appdomain.currentdomain.base directory property to establish the path of the relevant text file so that it is created in the same path from where our code will execute. Else, if the type of object passed into the log car details method is of type EV car, log the car's object type and information to the console screen. Else, throw an argument exception. So let's write code to reference the log car details method from our log ice car details del delegate. Let's write code to execute the log ice car details del delegate. Let's write code to reference the log car details method from our log ev car details del delegate. Let's write code to execute the log ev car details del delegate. Notice that even though the parameter contained in the log ice car details del delegate definition is not an exact match of the parameter contained in the log car details method definition, the C -sharp compiler does not complain when we write code where the log ice car details del delegate references the log car details method. And the same is true when we write code where the log ev car details del delegate object references the log car details method. This is because the parameter type contained in the log ice car details del delegate definition inherits from the parameter type contained in the log car details method definition. And the parameter type contained in the log ev car details del delegate definition inherits from the parameter type contained in the log car details method definition. This example demonstrates contravariance when using delegates in C-sharp, where a delegate's parameter may not match exactly with the parameter of a method that the relevant delegate object references. But if the relevant parameter in the relevant method definition is part of the same inheritance hierarchy and is less derived than the relevant delegate's parameter, this is allowed because contravariance is permitted in the C-sharp language. Let's run the code. And this is an expected result. Great. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on understanding covariance and contravariance when using delegates in C-sharp. Please consider subscribing for more content on advanced C-sharp concepts and much more. Please ring the bell so that you can be notified when content is released on this channel. If you feel you have benefited from viewing this video, please hit the like button. 
It really does help support the channel. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. As always, the code created in this video can be downloaded from GitHub. Please see a link to the relevant repository below in the description. Thank you and take care.